Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system and the closest one to the Sun. It was named after the ancient Roman god of trade, the swift Mercury, as it moves faster across the sky than other planets. Hello, dear friends. In today's video, we would like to tell you about the first planet in our solar system, Mercury. In this video, you'll learn about the history of its discovery, its characteristics, and some interesting facts. Sit back, relax, and let's begin. History of Discovery The history of Mercury and our knowledge of this planet dates back to ancient times. It is one of the first planets known to humanity. The earliest known observation of Mercury was recorded in the Molopin Tablets, a collection of Babylonian astrological texts. Initially, the planet was associated with the god Ninurta, and in later records, it was named Nabu after the god of wisdom and writing. Ancient Egyptian priests, who were skilled astronomers of the ancient world, also were aware of this planet. As for the origin of the name Mercury, it comes from the Romans, who named the planet after the ancient swift-footed god Mercury, Hermes in Greek, the patron of trade, craftsmanship, and messenger of other Olympian gods, as Mercury moves faster across the sky than any other planet. Astronomers of the past also poetically referred to Mercury as the morning or evening star based on its appearance in the starry sky. Interestingly, ancient astronomers believed that both Mercury and its closest neighbor, the planet Venus, revolved around the Sun and not the Earth. On the other hand, they believed that the Sun revolved around the Earth. Main Characteristics Mercury has a radius of only 2440 kilometers, which is smaller than the radius of Jupiter's moon Ganymede and Saturn's moon Titan, the two largest moons in the solar system. Despite its smaller size, Mercury's mass surpasses the combined mass of Ganymede and Titan. The planet's mass is about 3.3 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 kilograms. Mercury's average density is quite high at 5.43 grams per cubic centimeter, which is only slightly lower than Earth's density. Considering that Earth is much larger, Mercury's density indicates a higher content of metals in its interior. The average distance of Mercury from the Sun is just under 58 million kilometers. The planet orbits the Sun in 88 days on Earth, and one day on Mercury is equivalent to 59 days. As a result, during two orbits around the Sun, Mercury completes three rotations on its axis. Mercury belongs to the terrestrial group of planets and shares physical characteristics with the Moon. It has no natural satellites but possesses a very tenuous atmosphere. After initial debates about the existence of Mercury's own magnetic field, the Mariner 10, spacecraft study revealed that the planet has a large iron core, which is the source of its magnetic field, with a strength about 1% of Earth's one. Mercury's magnetic field is strong enough to influence the movement of solar wind around the planet, creating a magnetosphere. While the planet's magnetosphere is tiny compared to Earth's, it is still powerful enough to trap charged particles from the solar wind. Perhaps the most interesting feature of this small planet is the fact that it experiences the largest temperature fluctuations. As Mercury is closest to the Sun, its surface heats up to 450 deck during the day. However, since Mercury lacks its own atmosphere to retain heat, the temperature drops to minus 170 deg at night. These extreme temperature variations make it impossible for life to exist on this planet. Due to the difficulties involved in sending spacecraft to Mercury, only two space missions have explored the planet throughout human history. The first automated interplanetary station to explore Mercury was the American Mariner 10, which flew past the planet three times in 1974 and 1975, with the closest approach being 320 kilometers. It captured several thousand images covering about 45% of the surface. Further studies from Earth indicated the possibility of water ice existing in polar craters. The second mission was also conducted by NASA and called MESSENGER. The spacecraft was launched on August 3, 2004, and in January 2008, it made its first flyby of Mercury. On the 17th of March, 2011, after a series of gravitational maneuvers near Mercury, Earth and Venus, the MESSENGER entered orbit around Mercury, becoming the first artificial satellite of the planet in history. 
Equipped with instruments, the probe studied the planet's landscape, atmosphere, and surface composition. It also conducted research on energetic particles and plasma. Thanks to the images captured by the Mariner 10 and Messenger spacecraft, the first complete map of Mercury was compiled in 2009. On October 20, 2018, the European Space Agency, ESA, launched the BepiColombo mission, and the mission's spacecraft are expected to reach Mercury by 2025. They are intended to study the planet's atmosphere, properties, and more. The mission will last for seven years. Interesting fact. Despite Mars and Venus having orbits closest to Earth's orbit, Mercury is actually the planet closest to Earth most of the time. This is due to its constantly shifting elliptical orbit. Mercury does not experience the familiar seasons that we, Earthlings, are accustomed to. This is because its axis of rotation is nearly perpendicular to the plane of its orbit. As a result, there are areas near the poles that never receive sunlight. These regions contain ice, even though Mercury is the planet closest to the Sun among all. Mercury has a comet-like tail that stretches over 2.5 million kilometers, and its visible length from Earth is about three days. How did this happen? The tail is composed of sodium, whose molecules are ejected by the solar wind. Mercury is quite challenging to observe from high latitudes on Earth because it always appears in the dawn or twilight, either in the morning or evening sky, and it remains relatively low on the horizon, especially in northern latitude. There is a story that Nicolaus Copernicus, who observed astronomical objects in the conditions of the northern latitudes and the foggy climate of the Baltic region, regretted that he never saw Mercury throughout his life. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel to not miss out on new exciting videos about space and the universe. Write in the comments what you would like to see in the next video. Thank you and see you soon.